Hello, it's Rodney from Queensland Farm Management and Training here and we are standing in our blackberry crop and what a bumper crop it is at the moment. Uh, here at Queensland Berries, or Berry Road I should say, um, our blackberry operations is one of the largest in Queensland, if not Australia, growing beautiful Driscoll blackberries. We're going to have a chat to you today about uh, how to pick blackberries and what you should be bringing with you to work on your first day. So you'll arrive here on your first day and you'll meet one of our supervisors and our supervisors will take you over and get a couple of things sorted. First thing you're going to need is your picking trolley. You can't pick without a picking trolley. You'll need your picking trolley. You also need some boxes, some punnets, uh, a, a working scale and uh, then we'll get you off to start to train okay training is very important at queensland farm management and training so we'll get you trained properly we'll spend some time we have dedicated training specialists that train you to get you going and educated on how to pick blackberries now when you arrive obviously you're working inside one of these beautiful tunnels in the middle of summer here in queensland it does get actually quite warm so what we'd like you to do is bring plenty of water okay Plenty of water is really important. A minimum two litres of water so that you stay hydrated during the day. We'd also like you to bring your smoko, okay, what you're going to have for morning tea, snacks, what you're going, and your lunch, and some afternoon tea. So three things you need to bring, morning tea, lunch, and afternoon tea. As far as what you wear when you come out onto the farm, one of the most important things is closed shoes, okay? We don't want anyone wearing thongs, we don't want anyone wearing Crocs. All shoes must be enclosed. That's to do with workplace health and safety, okay? We're on a farm, there's a lot of moving parts at the moment, closed shoes are very important. All pickers on our farms wear a high-vis orange shirt, supervisors wear a high-vis green shirt, okay? That's so we can identify who are the pickers and who are the supervisors. So you'll need a high-vis orange shirt, okay? Another thing that's very important, guys, also, is to wear a cap, okay? Even though you are working in the tunnels, you're going outside, um, you're going in and out of the tunnels during the day, you're up here in beautiful, sunny Queensland. They don't call it the Sunshine Coast for nothing. It's sunny, it's hot, and we want you to have adequate cover. So just to recap, we want you to have a cap, we want you to have an orange high-vis shirt, okay? We also want you to have closed shoes. So once you come to work in your uniform, we'll get you with a supervisor that'll start your training. Now, here at Blackberries, okay, we do what's called picking and packing in the field, okay? Some farms, they pick into, into jugs and take it to a packing shed. We don't like to do that. Uh, we like to handle the fruit as minimal as possible so that uh, we can minimize the bruising. Now, in blackberries, we do pack four different grades, okay? We have our first grade, which is in a Driscoll's punnet, okay? Driscoll's are uh, the company that uh, we do all our marketing through. It's a worldwide company, one of the largest companies in the world, and they got the best berries. So we pack our first grade into a Driscoll's punnet. We pack our second grade into a clear punnet without the Driscoll's label. And then you'll see, you will have two jugs on each side. One is for what we call frozen, that is for frozen berries. One is for rubbish berries, which you know might have a little bit of um, be tarnished and not good enough for, for frozen. So I'm gonna take you over to the trailer now, and a trolley I should say, and I'm gonna show you how we pick and pack blackberries. We're here at one of our picking trolleys and uh, our picking trolleys have evolved over the years and we've streamlined them to be more efficient because more efficiency means our pickers can pick more in a day and that's important for you and it's important for us. Obviously we want to get our crop off but the most important thing we want you guys to be making good money. So we've streamlined our picking trolleys now okay and as you can see on our picking trolleys we have two red uh, trays, okay? We put our punnets, our empty punnets, in the trays at the front, and we put the punnets that we're picking into in the tray at the back. We also have our scale here, okay? So we can weigh our fruit, and on either side, you'll see we have three jugs. Now, 
One jug is for rubbish, one jug is for frozen. So I'll talk a little bit about the different types of quality in a moment. I'm here with Elisa. Elisa's one of our pickers from Timor. Say hello, Elisa. Wave, say hello. hello. Okay, all right, Elisa's here picking blackberries into her trolley. And what she's doing, what Elisa's doing is she's picking here and she's grading them out. Now, obviously the first grade, the first grade Driscoll ones, they're all our premium raspberries. I'm uh, sorry, blackberries, I should say. Okay, so our premium blackberries all have a nice large shape. Each blackberry you can see has cells. All right, each blackberry has cells. We do not want the cells to be broken or blistered. We want it all to be a good size, a good shape. Obviously, these Driscoll blackberries go into all the major retail retailers, Woolworths, Coles, Aldi, Costco. These guys only want the best. So all the first grade quality, premium size, premium shape go into our first grade. Once it's been picked and packed, it's been weighed and it's getting put into the boxes which are underneath, okay? The boxes are underneath here, okay? In blackberries, we have 12 punnets in a box, okay? So they're packed and they go underneath into the box. Our second grade blackberries are blackberries which are maybe out of shape a little bit, okay? Still good quality, a little bit imperfect as far as shape and size, they will go into a second punnet, okay? Then we have on either side of the trailer what we call frozen and what we call rubbish. Now, a lot of you might be wondering what's the difference between frozen and rubbish? More or less, frozen is things you can eat, rubbish is stuff you can't, okay? Very simple. So, on, on the frozen raspberry, uh, blackberries, we might have a little bit of a deformity, we might have one or two busted cells, but it's still good eating, okay? We freeze them and it's still good eating, okay? Rubbish, ra rubbish blackberries are blackberries that you can't eat at all. There might be a little bit of mold or pest damage or something like that. Um, basically, the way, the way I look at it, if you wouldn't eat it, neither will the customer. So it goes into rubbish. So we have the four different varieties, uh, four different grades. First grade, second grade, rubbish and frozen. Okay, as you can see here, we've got certain stages of what creates a blackberry. So a blackberry will start as a green berry. And you can see a little green berry here. It'll then evolve into a red pinkish color, from a pinkish color to a red color from a red color to what I call a dark crimson color, from a crimson color into a beautiful blackberry. Now, the blacker the berry, the better the flavor. A blackberry should be juicy, creamy, melt in your mouth, and that truly happens when it is all black. So when picking blackberries, we wanna pick a blackberry that is totally black. Something like that that's still red in color, Okay, that one there, it's actually going to taste a little bit bitter. It's not ready yet. We'll get that, you know, probably in another week's time. This one will be ready. Okay, this one here, you can see it's just starting to turn black now. Okay, it's gone from your pinkish to your reddish to your black. That's also not ready. Okay, then you look at something like this one, which is probably nearly ready, but not quite because it's still got that reddish through here. It's black along here, it's reddish through here. These three are not ready, okay? What we want is a beautiful blackberry like that, which has black cells from top to bottom. And the easiest way to tell is the blackberry actually, when it's totally ready, it just comes off with little or no force, okay? And once that's ready, you can see that's black the whole way through, the whole side. It has no red, it has no color. It's totally black, like a blackberry should. And once it's that color, we know that it's ready to eat. And it eats beautiful. Once your boxes are full, and they're on your trolley and they're full, you'll take them over to what we call our waystation carts. At the waystation cart, you'll have 
what we call QC, Quality Checker Supervisors. They will check your quality. They will also mark off your blackberries so that you know how many you've packed, where they go to the records, and we post the records every day in our Facebook group so you can check your records to make sure that what you have picked is what you're actually getting paid for. It's very important to make sure that your counts are right because we want to make sure that you guys are getting paid for everything that you pick. So once your, once your boxes are full, you'll bring them over to the way station. The quality checkers will check them, mark them off, and you'll get back straight back in the tunnels and keep picking.